So can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. He brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. Krogan Macbeth sounds less interesting than Elcor Hamlet. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, oh, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. Urgent. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. That's right. I found a kid in a fridge. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. Ah, you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. Man, the Vorcha got a seat on I the council. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, oh wise Prothean elder. What wisdom of the ages can you share with us? This guy sounds like Liara. Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Oh. Prothean no like you. Yeah. Did someone say Prothean? <gasps> this one is familiar with enkindling. <gasps> this one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. It's... Blaster, about time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. If only... This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed audience. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Oh. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Protean partner here to assist. His? This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Javik, we're rolling here. Oh, dear, no like you. It's true. This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. Are you saying I'm spectre enough for the Spectre Club? I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. I wish there was a way to just totally play a low god the Reapers. Look! It's Sovereign's half-brother, Sluggard. <gasps> and he's looking for some payback. Oh no, not Sluggard. We're doomed. Cue the stunt double. <laughs> your line. Say your line. You die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! Oh no! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorcha scum, prepare for death. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. 
Blasto cures the genophage. Blasto does what now? Blasto is reading from my playbook. That damn dirty jellyfish. <sighs> also, man, they turn those around faster than... Well... They turn the Blasto movies around very quickly. Hey, look. It's an Elcor actor. I wonder what roles you may have played, good sir. Informative. With the production of Francis Kitt's All Elcor Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. You just played Hamlet! That's a great role! Tragically, I am dead, Horatio. Wretched queen, adieu. <laughs> you that look pale and tremble at this chance, that are but mutes or audience to this act, had I but time. As this fell sergeant, death is strict in his arrest. Oh, I could tell you, but let it be. Tragically, Horatio, I am dead. Thou livest. Report me and my cause aright to the unsatisfied. <laughs> Brings a tear to the eye. It really does. I can't. I, can't, I, 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 I have to. I have to bow to my nose. <laughs> party supplies. One hundred credits for party supplies. Excellent. Also, Garrus wanted to meet uh, somewhere up here, right? Shepard? So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. Okay. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? Mm -hmm. I was thinking a date. Shep. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And, hmm. Start with your name. Start with your name. Gar okay, fine. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Turian flirting. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Garrus. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Listen, Nyreen is not interested. This yeah. is going very poor. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Definitely Dextro Beer. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. How did he ever meet up with, with that nice lieutenant who needed to test his reach and flexibility? How in the world? Anyway, whatever. Shepard just hooked Garrus up with some random Turian lady, even though Garrus has been, in his very Garrus way, flirting with Tally for weeks now. So... Yeah, that hasn't happened yet. I think that might happen at some point, but that hasn't happened yet. I love this song. Let's dance. Let us continue walking around, see what else there is to see here in the Silver Sun Strip. Mournfully. Oh God, Horatio, what a wounded name. Things standing thus unknown, shall I leave behind me? If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity a while, 
And in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. <laughs> I'm so glad they actually did the Elcor Hamlet. <laughs> You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. <laughs> what are you doing? There was a kid here. Sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. You realize these things are probably Where's the kid? rigged, right? So what do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? <laughs> Say please. I, you know, Zaid, there's, there's a lot to... Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? You really want one of those plushy toys? Goddamn right I do. Okay then. Credits. Say please. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. <laughs> please. <laughs> Easy, easy. Nope. It's obviously rigged somehow. Yeah, probably. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. Said it's a crane game. I'm going back in. Credits. Yep, this is... All right. And... Oh, he won! Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, it's a cute little plushy Volus! Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? <laughs> More claw! <laughs> More claw! Dick claw! And at this time you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. <laughs> I think I knew that about you. <laughs> uh, I feel it's important to remember that one of the last things we did with Zaid Masani before, you know, dealing with him and his addiction to crane games was pull him out of the flaming wreckage of the oil refinery that he blew up in a murderous quest for whatever no, pretty much all the time Solarian has a very twitchy left eye Nicely done, Sam. Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? In space! The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Oh. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Yeah, but... Now you have me glaring at her for you. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way, so try not to lose it. Roger point. that. Don't lose the frigates, especially that frigate. It's 
good start. Nope, wait, that's a bad start. Oh, damn it. Ah! So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Well, Sam should be used to that, because we have that... Never mind. This is a, a few more position. centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. Well, my people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari maidens tactics and strategy through this game. Yeah, but we're playing actual space chess. So, I. Uh, Okay, this might be the biggest stretch of these options in the entire series, but go with me here. You are going to lose this game of chess to Sam because I am very charming? So your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. Yeah. And I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman. But she just lost her last frigate. Second to last, she ah. still has the Norman... Traded her last frigate, actually. For your homeworld. Oh. Oh. Oh, that'll... Oh. Oh, that's a thing you can do? That's a thing you can do! Ah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Commander. And... Nice job, Specialist. Now I hit the showers. Good work. Sam? Should we be concerned about the game that temporarily play paralyzes losing players? It seems a bit... Extreme? Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pad. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Okay. So Javik, Tally, and I are going to go fight some Geth, but not for real. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat in the Armax Arsenal Arena. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting round one. Oh. Kill streak. Three. Yeah. Four. Random, uh, random disposable uh, geth are very little threat before Commander Shepard. Kill streak. Three. Round one is over. Did I win round one? Five, I think I won. Four. Three. Two. One. Round two. Hi. Oh, you're a rocket trooper. You're fancy. Not that fancy, but you know. Wee hee hee! Hi. What if I shepherd punch your incorporeal self? Kill streak. Three. Four. Oh, you thought your shields would stop you Kill from getting streak. chucked around, but no, I'm a Mass Effect 1 biotic when I use Lash. Three. Four. Oh, you got yoinked. Where did you go? Aha. Uh -huh. End of round two. Three, two, one. Final round. 
Final round. It's already the final round, huh? What is a Geth Bomber? Oh, that is a Geth Bomber. I don't want to get bombed by a Geth Bomber. <clears throat> if I just charge around and... Charge around. Charge around. Charge up, charge up, and get down. Something like that. Oh, bye. Kill streak. Three. Acknowledge. Four. Five. Six. Yeah. Eight. Seven. The match goes to Shepard. Hooray! That was to be this expected. This match brought to you by Rosenkov Materials. For a piece of the action, or just peace of mind. And I got 2,650 <clears throat> points. Okay. Cool. There are five different people we can bring up. Let's, uh, let's start with Kolya. We just got that email. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. His son did not know him as that, but let's move past that part. Uh, the top right options. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me. Because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important, but let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. True. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways, said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. 
That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of wrong. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the Counselor. About what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel Syndrome, it would be them. That sounds like a good thing. If you need someone to hold the Counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. And the fire's back I there. I appreciate the offer. But Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Man, it is it, that that was very cool. That was that was very good. It's it's kind of strange to think about and like obviously like Thane is I think Thane is the only squad mate who is guaranteed to die. I think that's true. Now I'm thinking it through. Based on your actions in the series, I think Thane is the only one who's guaranteed to die. You know, the way we've the way we've played so far, obviously like Mass Effect 1, there's the Ashley Caden choice, but that's a choice. And Caden is still alive and kicking despite multiple other opportunities we had to kill him. Uh, Rex, we could have killed a number of different ways, but he's still alive. Everyone from Mass Effect 2, with two exceptions, still alive. Thane is dead, and Morden Solus is dead. There is a way to not kill Morden. The game does not do a great job. Well, actually, the game writes Morden out in such a way, basically, in order to sit, in order to keep Morden alive, you have to be a complete and total bastard. You have to screw over the genophage, and you have to convince, you have to sabotage the genophage, and convince Morden that sabotaging the genophage was a good idea. And that is both very hard to do and something that requires you to make choices that we did not make in Mass Effect Two and Three. So there's a way to keep Morden from dying, but you have to follow a very specific path, and it involves the cre it involves creating the illusion that Morden is dead, basically. So it's not like Morden could be part of this party and part of these events if he hadn't died. So the game basically, the game basically has you kill Morden, but it definitely 100%, absolutely, you have to kill Thane. Like, Thane has to die. Thane dies in the story, no matter what. The only way Thane doesn't die in Mass Effect 3 is if he died in Mass Effect 2. And if he died in Mass Effect 2, then uh, things are very different. Things are very different for a lot of people. But things are very different in Mass Effect 3 if Thane does not die, if Thane dies in Mass Effect 2. But the point is, Thane still dies. <laughs> so it's, I, it makes sense that they would put that much emphasis on Thane because it's like, okay, player, listen, we took Thane from you. No matter what you did, we killed Thane. So here, here's a nice, here's a nice thing. Here's a nice ceremony. And also, like, Thane was a romance option in Mass Effect 2. A female shepherd could have romanced Thane in Mass Effect 2, and then Mass Effect 3 kills Thane. So I can understand if you want to look at it as an apology from the writers being like, yeah, we kind of had to do that thing, but here, here, here's a very nice funeral. It's still kind of weird 
in universe that you know what is it three months of game time now maybe a little bit less than that but you know several weeks or months of game time since thane died in the invasion of the citadel now we have this memorial service for this one guy when you know how many friends has commander shepherd made who have wound up dead ashley williams never got a touching funeral Morden Solus never got a touching funeral. Of course, you know, Morden Solus never saved a counselor's life either, but uh, I digress. All right, so we can check our messages and send some invitations. L let's hear those messages from Thane. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. Damn right it is. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. And yet I'm recording this from Huerta Memorial Hospital. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. That did not happen. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. Hmm. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. Spoiler alert, it didn't. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground, see two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Well, motherfucker! Okay, Citadel DLC, you didn't have to apologize for killing Thane that hard. Whew, that's good stuff. Thane's a good character, y'all. Mass Effect is cool and good. Don't know if anybody knew that. The fuck are the stairs? Oh, they're out here. Just spun in like four circles. We got all of that out of one of the five invite people up things. Let's invite let's invite James. Maybe it'll be funny. Lighten the mood. Good lord. Hey Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Yes, he would. Me? No. Never. Never. Whew. 
Nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. That's true. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. Did you really come up here to talk about our personal lives? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Oh, hey. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Okay, so 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 Kolyat's later, scene Shepard. is a Kolyat's scene is a, a long touching cut scene with multiple dialogues from multiple crewmates and and then several very sweet heartfelt video messages from your dead crewmate and and Vegas is a two minute thing where he shows off a tattoo. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. What the hell? No way. Oh, are you excited about something? It's a punching bag, James. You've been holding out on me. We have... Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Vega, it's a punching bag. Look, I have a pull-up bar, too. What have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? That'll take some Maybe. time, but... Oh, this should be good. You know I'm a biotic, right? <gasps> Two. <clears throat> Fuck it, Renegade interrupts. Three. Oh, God, don't make me do 183 <clears throat> of these. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I've, I've, for a second, I thought these were just going to turn into only Renegade interrupts because, like, the Renegade is stubborn enough to be like, No, I'm beating you! <clears throat> Please don't seriously do 183 of these, Shep. I've already <clears throat> lost count. What is that, nine? <clears throat> Eleven. <clears throat> Twelve. <clears throat> Uh huh. Thirteen. <laughs> what the fuck? Game? I, 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 fine. You know what? This is what we're doing now. This is the stream. I don't know what I expect when I do 183 of these, but there had better be a goddamn trophy. That's what I expect. I expect a trophy. An actual trophy. I expect Bioware to mail me a trophy. We're not even like we're we barely a third of the way there. This is such a long thing to make the player go through to get to 183. You know, I could have just said, "Oh, I don't do renegade interrupts," and I would have been done after like two. But no, I decided I had to do the renegade interrupts. You would better max my paragon. And my renegade for this. <clears throat> if the post fell out of the seal. Yup. That's halfway to my record. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> so that's what, 91 then? I think that's 91, because he said 182, so.
you know, Shepard, you could just lash him and knock him unconscious, and then when he wakes up, say, oh, by the way, I did you <clears throat> 200 more. <clears throat> we should get Circle Master to play, this, play the Mass Effect trilogy. 100. That's impressive. Circle Master should play Thanks. the Mass Effect trilogy. Just 82 to go. Shut up, James. <clears throat> and then realize that, you know, we, we should get Circle <clears throat> Master to just grind pull-ups on stream. The way he <clears throat> grinds Final Fantasy IX. It's <clears throat> marginally less interesting than Final Fantasy IX. <clears throat> but, you know. Shepard's thinking to herself, like, I have plans. I, I, I was going to invite Miranda here. I have to shower before I invite Miranda here. And you know, what's the point of showering when Trainer isn't even here? So, like, honestly, this is so much work just to show up this one jackass. Why did he have to say 182? I bet he's never done 182. I bet he just picked a big number. He can do, like, 40, maybe. He can do 40, but he just picked 182 because he thought it would be impressive. And I would go, oh, wow, 182. You must be really strong, Vega. And you have fantastic endurance, too. I'm so impressed. You can do 182 pull-ups? Wow. But no, no. He knew that if I would, I would either do that or I would force myself to do 183 goddamn pull-ups just to say that I did 183 goddamn pull-ups. Well, you know what, Vega? You fucking dipshit. You asshole in a hat. You are not the best pull-up man. I am the best pull-up man despite not even being a man because I am Commander Shepard. <clears throat> And this is my favorite pull-up bar on the Citadel. And I don't know how many pull-ups that is. Didn't think you'd get this far. You shut up. <clears throat> Am I there yet? My record was actually 69 because I thought it was funny. Yeah. They, they should have put in a voice line. That, okay, if this game was made now and you stopped at 69 or when you got to 69, Vega would turn to the camera and just go, <laughs> nice. But no, no. No, we blew right past 69. We probably blew past 169. By this point, I'm still not counting. We've got to be close, right? We've got to be close. I kind of thought that my, my big long rant there would culminate in the... Oh, boy. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that's the one. Holy hell, you did it. I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Fuck you! That's how I'm feeling! And also, ow! Might need help pulling my armor on next time. I'm happy to help, Lola. <laughs> don't tease a girl when she's winded. Okay, okay. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry, I won't. Who says I don't got it? Where's my trophy? Game, where's my trophy? Game, I did... I did 180... Where's my trophy? Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> I didn't even get a trophy. I did 183 pull-ups and I didn't even get a trophy. This is the worst game ever! Edie, don't make me exercise. Edie, do not make me exercise. Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Edie, you are really Shopping. leaning into this stereotypical girl I thing. guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Oh my god, she wants Jeff to take us to the metaverse. Credit shit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. I huh. Think. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. 
I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. That's Get true. to your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. That's expensive. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement part? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. It is very expensive. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Oh, dear. That could end very poorly. Or very... Idiom touched. Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. That's very sweet. Assuming it's, you know, real and you didn't just buy it from those Vorcha who were playing three-card money in front of the casino. But, uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? In it's a the positive way. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive law files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. Excellent. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. That was not a joke. Did I have you for a few seconds there? No. Maybe not it even was. close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Well, that's cute. And I didn't have to do 183 pull-ups. So, you know, probably more visually entertaining than the Vega one. Speaking of Liara... Do I just not lock this place? Is it on the honor system? Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover. Intel to gather. A commander to save. Hey, ah. now. You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. Man, I really hope y'all can hear the song, because I can't. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose... How to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? Hey, now. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Damn it, we're on shore leave. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? It's just heart and soul, isn't it? Do, do, do. Do 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 
Dude, dude. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. You didn't actually need to do that, but... That's nice. We have an electric piano. As long as Glyph is near the piano, I suppose. Miranda, do you like the piano? Also, Liara, I guess? Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. <laughs> no doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. You killed hundreds of people! <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Okay, so... Hey, point of order, Miranda. You were the head of Project Lazarus. Did you not know about the whole clone thing? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Mm -hmm. Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Mm -hmm. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? A clone! Yes, Miranda. A clone. Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. There was plenty! Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. How about that? That's a shame. How about that? Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. <laughs> hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. <laughs> Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. Hey, shut up! It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? Yeah, fair point. All that point. running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. Well, yeah, okay. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> Trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Man, these... The ones of these that aren't stupid one-off jokes or make me do 183 pull-ups, they're so good. <laughs> Why can't Fem Shep and Miranda just kiss already? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, this game is good. Also, I realize that's not a loading screen and I'm actually just pinned up against the wall first of all i want to point out it's very nice how the game just kind of slides in with the six people who might go to the party who definitely 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 can't be dead the six people you meet who you might invite to this party who cannot be dead 
are all guaranteed to come to the party. Cortez cannot be dead at this point. You met him in Mass Effect 3. Edie cannot be dead at this point. She got her body in Mass Effect 3. James, you met him in Mass Effect 3. Joker has never had a combat encounter that he can not survive and continue the plot. Joker has to be there. Even though Joker's from the original, Joker does not die in ME2 no matter what you do. So Joker cannot die. Liara cannot die. Trainer, you meet in Mass Effect 3. Every other one of these people, you either can get them killed or they just, you can miss them. Garrus, you can get killed in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, Garrus, you can get killed in Mass Effect 2. Grunt, you can get killed in Mass Effect 2 or 3. Jack, you can get killed in Mass Effect 2 or, I believe, 3. Jacob, you can get killed in Mass Effect 2 or, I believe, 3. Javik, you could just not have because, remember, Javik is DLC. It's fucking ridiculous that Javik is DLC, but Javik is DLC. Caden, obviously, could have died in Mass Effect 1. You could also have killed him in Mass Effect 3. Kasumi was DLC in Mass Effect 2, could die in Mass Effect 2, and could die in Mass Effect 3. Miranda could have died in Mass Effect 2, could have died in Mass Effect 3. Samara could have died in Mass Effect 2 in multiple ways. Samara could have died on her loyalty mission in Mass Effect 2, could also have died in Mass Effect 3. Tried to kill herself in Mass Effect 3. Tally could have died in Mass Effect 2, could have died in Mass Effect 3. Rex could have died in Mass Effect 1, could have died in Mass Effect 3, could have just not been here. Zaid is also DLC for Mass Effect 2 and could have died in Mass Effect 2. I don't think Zaid can die in his mission in Mass Effect 3, but um, yeah, so all of these characters could have died or in Javik's case were DLC, so you could have not had them. So they're not guaranteed an invite, but the ones who are the ones who you had to have and can't have died, they're all guaranteed an invite. Anyway, that's a long way to say that every I kind of want to invite everyone except Jacob. I kind of want to invite everyone except Jacob just to be me to Jacob. Listen. We're just going to invite everyone. We're just going to invite everyone. Everyone's getting an invite. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I, I didn't mean to actually start the party, though, Glyph, so just wait. We're going to start the party later, but for now, we're going to go hang out and kill things with Jack. Okay? We're not starting the party now. I still need to get ready and rethink the guest list. Of course, Commander. Please let me know when you're ready to begin preparations for your guests. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Oh, apparently it's, uh... Apparently it really is Shepard and Jack in the arena. So, uh, in case you missed the arena earlier, here's the... Oh my god, Jack has 59 points to spend. I have five more points. You get pull up to level four, which uh, you, 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 you don't need to keep the duration. Let's just expand the, expand the radius. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. Who are we fighting? Are you going to tell me who I'm fighting? Fighting Jack. Oh, of course we're fighting Cerberus. We're fighting with Jack. Of course Jack wants to kill Cerberus. What am I thinking? Jack, can you pull the shield off of this guy's hands, please? Thank you. Kill streak. Oh, sucks to be you, guy. Right. <laughs> I if we can get the mail slot. Kill streak. We probably can. Three. Yep, we can. I just got progress toward it. Four. 
if I charge? And then charge some more. Okay, okay incendiary ammo, ammo is just straight better than cryo Five, ammo. I'm sorry. Four, three, cryo ammo rules. Two, one, round two. Hello. If I charge and then shepherd punch you. What if I charge and then shepherd punch you? Hi, Jack. What if I charge and then Jack pulls you? Yep. Is that a nemesis? Oh, hi. Three. Three. Three dead Cerberus guys. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's a headless nemesis. Headshots work better when you hit them. I mean, yes. If you have a point cap, you just need to taunt me. Because either is valid. Kill streak. Oh, there's still a nemesis over there. Thought we were all done. Oh, they brought an Atlas. Not fair. The Atlas one shotted Jack. Okay, well, you know what? I'm Commander Shepard, so I can just charge and then flame bullets you. Round two. Oh. I'm oh, gonna beat you until candy comes out. <laughs> Damn, it's nice to relax. Just cutting loose, not worrying about the kids. It's worth the stress to watch the people you're commanding come into their own, though. Shut up. <laughs> Who said I was talking about you? Oh, look, the first time Shockwave did anything in this game. You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. Just a big, deep boom to let you know everything's going to be okay. Thanks for coming, <laughs> Shepard. Wouldn't have missed it. Aw, that's cute. I like Jack. Jack is fun. Mass Effect 3 is fun. I know that's a shocking revelation for all of you. All right, I think we have done quite enough for tonight. Next time, we will wrap up the Citadel DLC with the party. There is going to be a bash at Anderson's apartment, which is now Shepard's apartment. Of course, we will have the party. We will have some fun. And then we will say goodbye to this incredible game. Not for good. Not for good. There's still the, the slight matter of the end game. But uh, next time, we will say goodbye to the Citadel DLC. We will wrap it up with the party. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye.